Hey YouTube, Drone Tech here. Trust in US media has been extremely low for a really long time. It started long before Trump became president. People in this country distrust the press because it's so obviously biased in favor of the left and the Democrat party over the right and the Republican party. It's no coincidence that the media is always fawning over Democrats and always demonizing Republicans. And it seems like the more left wing, the better. Yesterday, we were given a textbook example of this bias when reporters covering Kamala Harris began sycophantically tweeting out how much fun that they were having shopping with her and picking out clothes for her. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's it. CNN reporter Maeve Reston tweeted out, We kind of forced Kamala Harris to try on this awesome oversized rainbow sequin jacket. Ali Vitali perfectly named it as the Mardi Gras jacket. Hashtag 2020. Why are you giving her advice on what clothes she should buy on the campaign trail? NBC News reporter Ali Vitali, the one who coined the term Mardi Gras coat, also chimed in with her approval, saying, Kamala Harris trying this amazing rainbow coat. To me, this screams Mardi Gras coat. Wait a minute. I have some breaking news. She bought the jacket. And it just kept going. All of these so-called reporters just kept tweeting out their excitement over shopping with Kamala Harris. Hard-hitting CBS journalist Caitlin Huey Burns just couldn't hide her excitement for this ugly garment, saying, Campaign trail takes you to a boutique, and Reston spots a great sequin jacket for at Kamala Harris. You can tell, you can really tell that as the campaign trail goes on, that this reporter is going to be completely objective in her reporting. It's like you can't even tell what party any of these reporters are a member of. Political and media historian Brian Roswald excused the media malpractice by saying, Ah yes, the usual double standard. Conservative media is allowed to pal around with Republican politicians, but mainstream journalists aren't allowed to have human interactions with politicians because they clearly couldn't possibly be competent at their jobs. Critics and fellow journalists quickly began reminding the so-called reporters that they're supposed to be objectively covering the candidates, not creating political propaganda. Time Magazine columnist Christopher Hale said, I'm a fan of yours, but this isn't good, Maeve. It doesn't strike me as sober, objective journalism. That's because it isn't. It's slavish, drooling sycophancy. Senior fellow at the London Center for Policy Research, Jesse Duff, said, is Kamala Harris the new I'm with her campaign that NBC News reporters are promoting now? Ali, to me, screaming Mardi Gras kind of shows your enthusiasm for either fashion, Mardi Gras, or Kamala. Guess we can expect more bias and fake news for the 2020 elections. Yeah, Jesse, this is what the 2020 campaign is going to be like. This is what the 2016 campaign was like for Hillary. She had nothing but positive coverage, and then when the scandals hit, they defended her and tried their best to discredit the scandals. You might even remember she got help with debates by a CNN employee who was also a Democrat leader, Donna Brazile. Before that, Obama was literally being compared to a god by mainstream media sources. I mean, in a way, Obama's standing above the country, above, above the world. He's sort of God. He's, he, yeah. he's going to bring... Isn't it strange that on the same day the Smollett hoax is exposed, none of these reporters think to ask Kamala Harris about all the comments she made perpetuating the hoax? I think that in this case, there was some self-preservation going on there because the media is just as guilty in promoting that hoax as the Democrat politicians are. Many journalists are on Twitter today trying to do damage control and spin the interviews that were done with Smollett as something other than news. Lisa Fung from the LA Times says, as W.J. Carter points out to Brian Stelter and Reliable Sources, the Jesse Smollett interview on Good Morning America was a celebrity interview and not a news interview. Yeah, guys, ABC News is just entertainment. Get ready, folks, because what we're about to witness from the media in this 2020 campaign is going to put George Orwell's worst nightmares to shame. But don't worry. I'll watch it so you don't have to. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like my content, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can find the link here in the description or in the pinned comment. Thank you.